ACCA, the world's most forward-thinking professional accountancy body. Listen to our podcast series where we deep dive into the ACCA strategic professional exams. Expert tutors and the ACCA team reveal their tips for success. Plus, hear real-life experiences and study hacks from students who are right there with you on the road to qualification. Hello everyone and thank you for listening to this ACCA podcast. My name is Isabel and I'm part of the student support team at ACCA. Today I'm delighted to be speaking with Steph who is a member of the Strategic Business Leader or SBL examining team. Hello Steph and thank you very much for joining us today. Hi Isabel, thank you. So this is all about the SPL pre-scene component. In September 2023, ACCA introduced this pre-scene component for the SPL exam, which is designed to give students the opportunity ahead of exam day to establish a sound understanding of the industry and organisational context of the upcoming exam. This should mean that you are better equipped and more confident to analyse and understand the information presented to you on exam day on which the requirements are based. So the purpose of this podcast is to help SBL students make the best use of this pre-seen material before and on the day of the SBL exam. So let's get stuck in. Steph, over to you. Can you start by explaining how a student should use the pre-seen material when they receive it two weeks before exam day? Thanks, Isabel. Yes, of course. The first thing to, to remember, remember is that, that the, the pre-scene's main purpose, purpose is to give you, the student, the opportunity before you sit the exam, exam to familiarise yourself with the context of the organisation and the industry on which the SBL exam requirements will be based. Now, normally, the SBL pre-scene material will be somewhere between 10 and 15 pages long and will provide you with all the information you'll need to understand the overall industry and the main features of the organisation on which the exam tasks will be based. Now, you are, are not expected to undertake any further detailed analysis or research on the industry as everything you need to prepare yourself for the exam will be in that pre-scene material. Now, when you receive the pre-scene, read it through carefully and thoroughly. The examining team will try to make sure that all the relevant terminology is explained and defined so that you don't need to do any additional research. You might want to highlight key points or facts that you think are important to your own understanding of the case material, but don't spend time trying to learn or remember specific case details. Remember, the pre-scene will be available to you on exam day as an additional exhibit. Although you're not required to undertake any further detailed analysis of the pre-scene material, you might find it useful to prepare, for example, a SWOT analysis to give you a clearer understanding of the organisation and its position in the industry. However, you are strongly advised to not waste time trying to apply numerous syllabus models to the case context just in the hope that these will be examined. It's really important that you understand that the exam requirements will always focus on the exhibit information that's presented to you on exam day and not on the pre-seen information. You really will be wasting your time if you try to apply models or theories to the pre-seen information because this is not its purpose. The primary purpose of the pre-seen is to give you, the candidate, the additional confidence as you enter the exam knowing that you have a sound understanding of the context of the organisation. The pre-seen information should not be used to question spot. Questions will not be set on information specifically located in the pre-scene. Thank you very much for that. So to emphasise, the students are not expected to make any further research or analysis. They just need to use the pre-scene to become familiar and go into the exam with confidence knowing what they're going to be shown. Is that right? That's right. Absolutely. So let's consider now how to use the pre-scene information on the exam day itself. What do students need to know? Well, in the exam, 
The primary focus for developing your answers is on the information presented in the exhibits, not on the precinct information. However, that doesn't mean that you can't make reference to the precinct information or use some of the points from it to justify or explain the points in your answers. So, for example, you may wish to refer to the organisation's mission or vision statement that was included in the precinct material to help justify a strategic decision that the organisation is being asked to consider. Obviously, reference to the vision or the mission statement could be useful to help justify or recommend a particular decision. However, always remember that any reference you make to the precinct information must be fully explained and justified. Really, you must never simply copy and paste sections or statements from the precinct information into your answer. This is not its purpose and, most importantly, you won't gain any credit for that. Now, it is worth noting that the precinct information was presented at a point in time and that on exam day, the organisation may well have moved on and new information will be then presented relevant to that point in time. As such, the precinct information may well be really useful for comparison purposes. So, for example, comparing the financial position or KPIs that were given to you in the precinct with new exhibit information related to the present or possibly predicted position so that you can then make appropriate judgments on performance. So an example would be there might be precinct information on trends in, say, customer satisfaction performance, which you may be able to use to justify customer behaviour in relation to a particular strategy being considered or compare it to current or predicted customer satisfaction performance. So in those cases, the pre-C material can be used to provide a reference point when considering strategic performance. Brilliant. Lots of useful information there. It's really helpful to get your insights into this. Perhaps you can summarise those key points to take away from this podcast before we wrap up. Yeah, of course. My first piece of advice would be make good use of the two weeks before exam day to carefully read and understand the precinct information to make sure that you are fully familiar and comfortable with the case study organisation and the industry in which it operates. I would say secondly, don't overanalyse the pre-scene information though and certainly don't carry out too much additional detailed industry research. Everything you need is there. Thirdly, don't use it to question spot before exam day. As I've tried to point out quite clearly previously, it is not there to question spot. And fourthly, on exam day, only use the precinct information to help you further justify and clarify the points you wish to make. But don't simply copy and paste precinct information into your answer. Make sure that your answers are primarily focused on the information provided to you in the exhibit material given to you on exam day. Brilliant. Thank you. I think that's all we have time for today, but that's been really useful advice. And it's always good to hear directly from the examining team. So thank you so much for that, Steph. I'm sure students will really appreciate this and hopefully this will help prepare them for their upcoming SBL exam. And I know, Steph, that you'll join me in wishing them all the best of luck. So everyone listening, take on board Steph's advice on how to maximise and benefit from the pre scene material and all the best. Take care, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. You can listen to other ACCA podcasts covering exams, study advice, achieving ACCA membership and much more wherever you found this podcast. This podcast was brought to you by ACCA. Find out how we think ahead at accaglobal.com.